Thank you for giving to Live Arts. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much for giving to Live Arts, and we hope to see you soon back in the theater. Hello, friends, and thank you for joining us again. I am Jeremy Duncan Pate. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I am the interim artistic director here at Live Arts. It has been a long four months, a global pandemic, shutdowns, economic hardship, and a reinvigorated movement reckoning with centuries of racial and ethnic injustice and inequities. In the midst of all of that, it is easy to lose sight of why we do what we do. It is easy to look at theater and making plays as frivolous, escapist, even wasteful. But we know that to be just not so. Humans have gathered to share space and stories for thousands of years. Every culture throughout history has done so, whether in times of peace and safety or in times of greatest calamity, the ritual of theater transcends the limits of our individual experience and at the same time uplifts it. At its finest, theater and her practitioners create a space for all, a space for all stories and their tellers. At its finest, theater is at the heart of community. And this is what we strive for. And this is what you, our community, have come together to support these past four months and the decades prior. We have and will continue to make mistakes along the way. We will take those moments to learn and to grow, to do better next time. And as our community, we hope that you will continue to join us on this path. We certainly have done so thus far. And for that, we are overwhelmingly grateful. So tonight, we gather to thank you. We promise to keep it brief and informative, and we even get to dance with Daryl the, to top the night off. Uh, but first, our executive director, Ann Hunter, and our development coordinator, Shelby Marie Edwards, will be joining me. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Ann. Hey, Shelby. Hey, friends. Hey, Shelby. How is everyone? What's up, everyone? If you don't know me, my name is Shelby Marie Edwards, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. And hi, everyone. I'm Ann Hunter, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. As a newcomer to Live Arts by way of Minneapolis, I can tell you that the last five months have been quite a ride. I've been on the job just a few weeks before the coronavirus turned our world upside down. And you know the rest of the story because you've been living it too. What's remarkable about that time is the way the community came together to support us and how our staff, board, and volunteers came together to help the community stay connected in a time of great isolation, pain, and fear. Personally, I was so touched by the outpouring of support, the genuine love that people expressed for Live Arts, and the generosity they showed in acts of kindness and in gifts of the heart. As a Midwesterner, I've got a whole new appreciation for Southern graciousness, so, so thank you. Uh, let me turn over the virtual mic to Shelby, the Charlottesville native who I have the great honor of working with and learning from. Back to you, Shelby. Thank you, Anne. See, that was me being a news reporter, and my next life would be a news reporter, y'all. Uh, so anyway. <laughs> thank you, Shelby, and back to you. <laughs> as many of you all know, in March of this year, we launched a $250,000 Forging Ahead campaign. We asked the community to help support us in that way. And I'm so happy to announce that we had more than 800 individual gifts and we raised, drum roll, drum roll from your house. I know it, it seems like I can't hear you, but I promise I can. We raised a total of just over $247,000 out of our $250,000 goal. That's like 99%. That's an A plus. That's a pat on the back. That is congratulations to you for helping us get here and we could not be happier. I will say this, 
we, as, as of today, we have one last match. We have an anonymous donor who is willing to give us $2,500 and is willing to match every single gift that comes in. So tonight, tomorrow, the next day, whenever, please go ahead and shoot me an email if you would like to be if you would like to help us with this last stretch of this forging ahead campaign and i will give you i will be able to give you a call tomorrow this campaign has been such a great success thank you so much for supporting live arts and please visit our website where we currently have all of the names of the people that have helped us this past three and a half months thank you thank you thank you <laughs> thank you shelby um, she's she's the powerhouse behind that campaign, so we're we're very grateful to to you for all your work. Mm -hmm. The list of donors on the website it's pretty impressive. Every name represents a live art story that lives on in their gift. So we are very grateful for those gifts. Speaking of names on our website, I'd like to give a special shout out to John Gibson and Will Kerner, who responded to our call for help early on and helped us raise more than $50,000 toward the Forging Ahead campaign, most of it during our 30 Plays in 30 Days Festival. Their continued commitment to, uh, demonstrates the deep uh, engagement that our community fosters over the span of decades. I'd also like to acknowledge the concerted efforts of the Forging Ahead campaign committee, chaired by former board chair, Cameron Mowat. Big thanks to Barbara Kessler, Deborah Ehrenstein, Aaron Hall, Will Kerner, Katie Evans, Shelby Marie Edwards, and Jeremy Duncan Payne. So Jeremy, would you like to talk about what the community's generosity has, has enabled us to do? Absolutely. Well, um, as you mentioned, Anne, um, a big part of what we've done over the past few months was that 30 and 30 festival. We got to take a nice long walk down memory lane through the whole of May. Um, there were 31 episodes because we art, we don't math, um, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, among other things that we've been up to, um, our education department has really adapted magically to this entire, this entire situation. Um, the uh, uh, camps have gone largely online and um, our, our, young, our young campers are loving it and it's really one of the bright parts of the day for us is when we get to see some of these videos that they're putting out. It's really, really wonderful um also the adult education offerings that we've that 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 we've come up with that miller particularly her team has been really astounding we've gotten the opportunity to to expand sort of um what even our community means um because of this so so this has become an opportunity in some ways to bring in people that wouldn't normally have the opportunity to teach with us um, and provide that to our community. Um, among other things, uh, 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 we are in digital rehearsals for our production of In the Heights. Um, we're still exploring exactly how that'll be presented and open to the public, and um, we're really excited about that. Our, our, um, our, our guest director for the summer is, is, is absolutely brilliant and wonderful. Um, she's been a joy to work with, certainly on my end. I can only imagine how much fun the, the cast is having. Um, and then coming up in um, October, we, we, we do believe we're going to be doing a, a, a little a similar retrospective, a one night gala retrospective, a, a, a jaunt down memory lane for that uh, party of the year. Um, and we have a lot of other plans. We have a we have we have a lot that we have planned coming up in the fall and winter. And um, we're going to save all of those details for another night, though. Um, so you're going to have to put up with all of that list again at some point. Um, but uh, we're really excited for for really the opportunity. You know, a challenge and a problem or anything. It's just an opportunity to be creative. And um, so we're we're really excited for that. Um, so as Jeremy mentioned in his intro, the world has been rocked by not just a health crisis and an economic crisis, but a racial justice crisis. At, at Live Arts, we affirm that Black Lives Matter, and we have committed to centering the values of justice, equity, and inclusion in everything we do. That's a lofty claim, and we have a long way to go, we know. We're starting small steps by convening an organization-wide DEI strategy group and investing funds in a DEI consultant to help us. Our goal is to equip ourselves to better engage and serve the entire community, intentionally, actively, mindfully. Shelby is instrumental in that work. Shelby, you wanna talk about your next steps? 
Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Ann. Um, so to that end, uh, Ann and I are both applying for grants to hire a justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion consultant. And this would be someone that could make our spaces here at Live Arts Fair, the literal spaces I am in right now, the spaces so that they can be, you know, equitable. And, and to quote Martin Luther King's daughter, Bernice King, she recently tweeted, quote, even the statement, let's invite more black people to the table, implies ownership of the table and control of who is invited. Racism is about that power, unquote. And as a predominantly white institution like Live Arts, we need to make more room for marginalized groups. Not only that, we need to create powers and systems that marginalized groups can take advantage of and do so as they see fit. Live Arts needs to take, take full responsibility of its past, its present, so that our future looks mm -hmm. like the world around us. Forging theater and community applies not just to one community, but to the intersection of many. And as part of that commitment, um, and uh, the commitment of, of the DEI work and of fostering local voices and um, local work, um, in, in, in we are uh, specifically going to be looking at um, the way our programming, our, our, our main stage programming relates with our foundry work and our developmental process there. Um, we, uh, we know that um, in the past and even in the present, that that space in particular is not one that is as welcoming as we would like, as diverse as we would like, as equitable as we would like. And so we are we are specifically and intentionally looking at ways to expand that among other spaces. And we're looking for ways to evolve that, particularly the development portion of what we do feels that it's um, that it, it's a valuable space to, to be exploring that work. So let me jump in here. Um, your generosity has helped us to close our income gap. More importantly, it's prepared us to look ahead to a reimagined season in an unimaginable time. It's the future that you're supporting. We're excited about the possibilities that Jeremy laid out and we are thankful to each and every one of you for supporting this wonderful theater that has been the artistic home to so many and more to come. We are grateful to be part of this community and I am proud to be part, to be a live arts newbie. I even am wearing my live arts newbie button that I got on my first time in the theater, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> um, Shelby, you, uh, you have a long history here. You're not a newbie, anything but. I know, I've been uh, stopping these grounds for a while. It's so funny because I'm sitting up here but as I look around, I remember when it, it didn't used to look like that. I'm sure y'all probably remember, but we did a capital campaign a few years ago with the help of the community and it looks different. It looks gorgeous. I, I look forward to the day when my kids get to come to Camp Sierra Live Arts because I, I got to do that. Um, I have so many fun memories and those are memories that people like you helped to support. You supported scholarship students like me, and you still can today. You were supporting, <laughs> <laughs> Very subtle. You were supporting uh, the dreams of individuals and of an institution. You are part of a legacy like this. So I invite you, if you want to hear more fun anecdotes from me, I'm actually doing a happy hour um, in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, like Live Arts has brought so many people and so many people have come back Jeremy like I'm sure you have your own stories about what it's like to, to come back here yeah similarly um, for me coming home didn't didn't mean didn't just mean coming back to Charlottesville um, coming home meant live arts um, it has it's been a space in a theater that has informed the way I've moved through my career um, and informed what I consider theater and informed how I make theater um, and I've got plenty of anecdotes about crazy basement stories and, and we ran a theater, we called it under Broadway. Um, oh. oh yes. <laughs> um, and that happened because I grew up in a space like live arts and, um, that was only possible because of, um, people like you, our community. Um, so thank you for supporting us. Um, thank you for, for being part. Thank you for keeping candle burning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So we promised to everyone to keep it brief. Mm -hmm. did, we, did we miss anything, friends? I'll just put in one more plug. Uh, we're at 99% of our goal, as Shelby said. If you're so inclined, please consider a closing gift to take us home. Um, only a few thousand more, um, and your gift will be doubled. So this is the time to do it. Thank you in advance for all you do to help us forge community and theater. I think it's time for a little. Yeah. Well, so as, a party. As, as most of you know, or many of you know, maybe all of you know, tonight would have been um, the preview night for In the Heights. And right now, people would be lining up and they'd be getting their Daryl love. We know you can't do it in person, but we have the man, the myth, the legend joining us tonight. Um, hello, friend. Hello, hello my friend. friend. I love you guys so much. My live arts family, my live arts friends. Why? Um, it's so hard. Like, this is, should be the opening night, opening weekend of In the Heights. But look out, we're, we're working on something either in person or online in the future for In the Heights. Um, the kids I hear are amazing. Um, they're in rehearsal right now, and I think they're having an amazing time. And hopefully next month we can bring that to you to the public um, real soon. But hey, we're here to have some fun tonight. We're gonna dance, no more tears. I'm gonna get my playlist ready. You guys get your dancing shoes on. You guys ready? You ready, Ann? Ready? I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Okay. Let's do it. I gotta get my dancing shoes on. <laughs> pants, Jeremy, pants. It's a little cool summer going on here. Can get it going. <laughs> yes, I like that. Here we, here we go. Okay, here we go. And we're dancing. Love you guys. Let's do it. <laughs> 